Chinoy TV is brought to you by Rich Prime Global Incorporated. Every child deserves a happy childhood. Tonight on Chinoy TV, get up close and personal to legendary screenwriter Ricky Lee and get a taste and experience Long Hien's premier Chinese cuisine. And of course, check out the latest happenings in the Chinese Filipino community. I'm Danita Chan, Washi Tai Shiren, and this is Chinoy TV, Beihua Dian Shi Tai. Traces of the screenwriter are everywhere, from the Toronto Film Festival to the Cannes Film Festival. With his remarkable and honest perception of what life is, it's no surprise that the audience can relate well to his work. This earned him more than 50 awards and even a possible National Artist Award. My mother died when I was five years old, and so my father had to turn me over to my relatives. It was okay naman, but siyempre pag hindi ka anak, you don't feel that you belong. So I always wanted to run away. And I wanted to get out of Daet as soon as possible. Parang feeling ko nun, it was such a small place. I wanted to do a lot of things, hindi ko magawa. Basa na lang ako ng basa ng libro. Parang pag nagbabasa ko ng libro, I could escape from diet, I could be somebody. Yun yung naging first step ko towards becoming a writer. I am Ricky Lee, Lee Xing Lo, writer, mentor. I'd like to think I have a big heart. This is my profile. Nung fourth year high school ako, I was able to publish a short story here in Manila. Nabayaran ako yung perang binayad sa akin na sa short story na gamit ko to come here to Manila. Siguro mga one, a year or more, bago ako na pag college, I had to work. Nagtrabaho ko lahat ng trabaho na yat. Nagsalesman ako, nagwaiter ako, nagaccounting clerk sa isang Chinese factory, and so on. Until finally, nagpagaral ako sa UP. I was a working student all throughout, but hindi ako nakatapos ng college. I dropped out. A B English, imaginative writing. Ang umabot ako ng fourth year, pero karamihan ng optional subjects ko Pilipino ang kinoko ako, kasi I was writing all the time. Hindi ko naman talaga in-expect na magsulat sa pelikula. Uh, ang talagang gusto ko maging writer in literature, so short stories. One time, nabalitaan ko na si Joseph Strada naghahanap ng writer na may Chinese blood kasi they wanted to, to do a movie. So tatlo kaming kinuha na writers noon. And yun, that became my first uh, screenplay. Ang title niya, Dragnet. Uh, isa siya pinaka, sa pinakaunang pelikulang Pilipino where yung Chinese ay pinakita as a real human being. Nagsimula lang ako officially to write in the movies in 1979 with Jaguar, which I co-wrote with Pete Lacaba for Lina Broca. So from then on, movies na. Kung pumimili na ako, siguro merong mga 10, maybe, or 12, or 13 na pinaka-memorable, pinaka-mahalaga. So isa yun, I suppose, isa doon, I suppose, would be moral kasi kwento yun ng mga kaibigan ko na pinag-composite, composite ko. So, nung pinalabas yung pelikula, tinuturo ng mga kaibigan ko yung characters nila on the screen. And marami din nun experiences ko sa buhay ko. So, very personal, very memorable. So, so maybe that's one. Himala would be another. Because hindi ko in-expect na after so many years, 30 plus years pa, uh, buhay na buhay pa rin siya ngayon. Nag-resurrect siya lagi in so many forms. Actually, it's very difficult to be a writer in the Philippines. Mababa ang tingin sa yon. They think that ideas are cheap. Anybody can invent stories. From bayaran to credits to being given importance, lagi kang mababa. Dito maski makailang bestsellers ka, gumaga pang kaparin eh para mabuhay. You have to take on a day job. Iyon, mahirap maging writer dito sa Pilipinas. At dinana ko lahat ng hirap na yon from na wala ng credit, to hindi bayaran, to naloko, and so on. But in the end, I think it's all worth it. 
Pag nagsusulat ka, you're creating something. And maski na may isang taong matouch, maapektuhan ng ginawa mo, ang laking bagay na yun. Nasa loob mo na hindi sa'yo nagpapatahimik, kaya mo nga gusto magsulat eh. Parang nagsisiksikan yung mga kwento sa loob mo. And paano ko matatahimik kung hindi mo yung nilalabas? And sayang naman kung hindi mo nailabas. Chinoy TV is brought to you by Nation for Complete Waterline UPVC Philippine Valve Manufacturing Company Macron Trading Yokyan Garcia BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific. Hatchimal surprise! It's ready to hatch! Did you hear that? What do you see? I hatched twins! One loves to sing. And the other one dances. They can talk to each other. I love you both. I love you both. Yeah. Hatchimal surprise, each sold separately from Spin Master. Who will you have? <laughs>